So this little thing is already done helping. <laughs> He's been on my desk for five minutes and he can't sit still. Hey guys, so we are filming another makeup declutter today and I have a lovely little assistant who's going to run around my desk while I do this. He's been on my desk for five minutes and he can't sit still. Oh yeah? Mm. It smells so good. Well, I mean, he's a hamster. Of course he can't sit still. But he keeps finding ways to crawl around my desk in manners that I don't want him to. Like that, he's gonna go eat a remote. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, so cute, so cute, but so not helpful, so not helpful, no. We're going to start with makeup brushes because I have too many, clearly. I got these ones from a friend who had ordered them offline or like gotten them in some type of gift thing. I do actually really like them. They're supposed to be like knockoffs of the Artiste brushes. They're, they are really densely packed even though they're like some, you know, Asian knockoff or whatever. Uh, I am going to get rid of all the ones that I didn't use the other day when I did my makeup. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. Um, I didn't really like the smaller brushes. Oh, I think, no. Alright, getting rid of this big brush, this smaller brush, and this small, small, teeny tiny brush. Um, this one I did enjoy for contouring my nose. I thought it was very helpful for that, so I'm going to keep that. So I'm keeping five of those brushes because I liked them for face products. I have three adorable little Tokidoki brushes from when Tokidoki did makeup for a hot second. I'm keeping those. Uh, I'm going to keep my Sephora eye brushes. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep my Sephora eye brushes. Put you over here. Alright. These two e.l.f. brushes I just got, and I really like them because I didn't have something that was, like, nice and fluffy to blend with. Um, I'm keeping this, this is just a double-ended brush for my Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Keeping that because it's easy. Um, I have a couple Wet n' Wild brushes that I got, um from the dollar store. I'm going to get rid of um, two of them. I'm going to keep this big fluffy one because it's fluffy. And then I am keeping these two Sephora brushes um, for highlight and powder. So yeah, I got rid of five brushes, so that's good. All right, next. Next we have lipsticks, so I'm just going from the bottom up in my uh, makeup, in my little makeup drawer. This is, I use like a jewelry box for my makeup, so I'm going to take everybody out. Okay, so I have quite a little lip product uh, stashed away into that little drawer, and actually right now it doesn't all fit in said little drawer, so by the end of this I would like to make it all fit. Uh, this is, as you can see, the uh, Chris and Leanne Urban Decay uh, collaboration. It's the color Bon Bon, if it'll focus, 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 well it's the color Bon Bon. Um, I have a second one because I absolutely love this color. It is the perfect cool toned neutral, like, you know, fleshy tone and I absolutely love it. So I did go and buy a second one because it is a limited edition uh, collaboration and I, they usually don't bring those back out. So I did buy a second one because I love this one so much and I've been wearing it just about every day. 
So I'm keeping both of those. Um, these two are from Kiko Milano. When I was in Florence, Kiko is a European based company. I believe it's actually, it is actually based out of Italy. Um, they have some pretty good products and I liked these lipsticks. They served me well, but they're from my sophomore year of college and they're both pretty well used up and kind of beat up. Um, this red one is like mangled beyond all belief. So I'm going to get rid of those and on to these guys. This is a nude that a friend had given to me when she realized she never really wore it. It is from e.l.f. What color are you? It's called Touch of Nude. I just don't really like it that much. Uh, I prefer the Kristen Leanne, so I'm going to get rid of this one. These next three, this one is really awesome. Okay, so this is from the Urban Decay uh, Vice Collection again. Um, this one is Voodoo. It is one of their oop, oop, Voodoo. It is one of their metalized collect metalized uh, shades. This is what it looks like. If the camera will focus on my hand, it is black with purple iridescent shimmer, and it is so gorgeous. I bought it to wear to parties. It is not an everyday lipstick, I am well aware. Bought it to wear to parties. I have not worn it to a party yet, but I'm so excited I'm going to this weekend. Um, this is just a kind of basic color that I got from Ingla. Number 184. And I'm going to keep it. It's not really my style, but I'm going to keep it. Um, I might ask a friend and see if they would like it, but I'm going to hang on to it for now because I've never really used it, so I'm going to hold on to it. This lipstick is the lipstick that I wore for my senior recital in college. It is an extremely dark burgundy purple shade. That's what the shade looks like, if you can see that. It is just from the uh, Sephora collection. I'm going to get rid of... This one, because I never wear it, I don't really like it. Uh, I bought it as like a everyday kind of shade. It's called the Beloved. I don't know if they have this exact color anymore. I don't know if uh, they kept it when they redid the formula because all of these are kind of old. Not sure if I'm going to keep Echo or not. I haven't worn it to a party in a really long time. I'm gonna keep it because I love it and it's really expensive to replace it if I decide I wanna keep it. Um, this is Poe. This is Poe, right? No. Darn it. This is Witches. Um, I think Poe was the name of the blue or the black in the actual lipstick. <laughs> but this is Witches. It's just straight black. Uh, I wore it to a party the other day, so I'm keeping that. The red one, because I don't have any other red lipstick I'm gonna keep. So, so the rest of my liquid lipsticks, I'm gonna keep... Eh. I'm gonna keep my uh, lip gloss because it's my only lip gloss and I do wear it uh, every day, like in everyday situations. I just got this lip topper from Tarte. It is from the Park Avenue Princess Collection. It is freaking gorgeous. I wore it on top of my Kat Von D Black. This is a NYX Liquid Suede metallic lipstick that I have yet to wear. I did again buy it for parties. I'm keeping that because I haven't even worn it yet. This one I actually bought for a friend and I have not seen them yet to give it to them. It is from the Urban Decay Vice collection. It's just a liquid lipstick. I do have a, uh, a nude matte lipstick from Stila again. It hates, it hates me, it won't focus. So I'm going to keep that because it's a, it is a cool toned neutral. I'm going to keep this little one from Tarte. This and the lip gloss were freebies uh, for my birthday the other year. I'm going to keep this one because this one is a warm toned neutral. And then this little guy, which is a little freebie that I got. 
Or maybe I got it from my friend who works at Ulta. I don't know. Um, but I am going to give this one to the same friend that I'm going to give the purple one to. So that's going to go over there. Cool. So I'm getting rid of three well-loved lipsticks and I'm gifting two. So we should be able to fit. Let's find out. And they do all fit. Yay! Alright. On to the next one. We're gonna go with face. Yay. Okay, let's take it all out. Okay, so I do not have a lot of face products, as you can see. Uh, like I said, I don't really do a full face of makeup all that often. Um... As you saw in my Get Ready With Me, I usually just do eyeshadow. So I'm going to get rid of this foundation from Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus, because I just, I didn't like it. I didn't find it um, very easy to um, I'm going to keep my Milani Conceal Imperfect. I really, uh, I got this not too long ago. Um, and I actually really liked it. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, I am going to keep my photo focus primer because I'm I'm too poor to buy like a giant bottle of professional I'm keeping my tiny professional this is my only little tiny contour thing so I'm keeping that my pressed powder keeping that it's just uh, from Rimmel, nothing exciting. This is a freebie blush that I got from Tarte for my birthday one year, I think, from my birthday. It is in the shade Parte. It's one of their Amazonian clay blushes. I'm keeping that. And then this it Cosmetics blush I am going to get rid of. It is in the shade Magical in Mauve. And I will show you why I'm going to get rid of it. Because this is the color. It it is mauve. <laughs> which is not the not a good shade of blush for my skin tone. And I bought it on, uh, because a friend of mine who works at Ulta is like, you can do whatever you want with makeup. Which is very true. However, this looks like poopy on my skin. So that is the fit. Oh yeah. I missed you in there. I am keeping my NYX concealer. When I finish it, I will get shape tape, but I'm keeping my NYX concealer for now. Okay, on to eyes, which is kind of bad. There we go. Because a lot of the freebies I've gotten lately have been um, eye products, so this is kind of a messy drawer. I'm keeping this. This is my Tarte Tardis uh, mascara. I really like it. I do have a backup of this because it was on Ulta's like 21 Days of Beauty sale for like $10 at some point. So I bought like three of them because it's normally like $22. So I got really excited. I have two eyeliner pencils. I'm going to keep both of them just because there's no point in getting rid of them. Uh, one is really old because it's NYC, and I literally don't know where I can even buy NYC anymore. And the other is NYX. Uh, little freebie mascara. I'm going to keep it. These guys are useful. I don't even know what these are. It's the girl just threw these in my bag at Sephora the other day. I don't know what these are. Okay. Somebody who's good at makeup, tell me what I do with these. Focus. These are my favorite freebies to get or my favorite like rewards to get from Sephora because I never buy eyeshadow primer. I just use the little tiny ones that I get. Like this one that I've used so much I don't even know what brand it is anymore. I am keeping those. I think I'm going to get rid of this, not sure, but this is also from Kiko, 
and it's probably too old. So I'm going to put that over there. This is a newer shadow from Kiko that I thought I would reach for, but I just don't. It's like a shiny silver color. Um, I just don't really reach for it. I just like warmer toned eyeshadows. This, this is disgusting. I mean, it's not, but it is. This is, this is like six or seven years old. This is a MAC shadow that I had in high school. Steamy Frost. It's probably called Steamy and the finish is called Frost, but whatever. Super bright highlight eyeshadow from Kiko. Yay. Oh, that's the that's the color, 83. What else do we have in here? We have some Ardell Wispies. I'm keeping those. Keeping my duo lash glue. This is another like mascara trial from Clinique. I'm going to keep that because those are really helpful to have when traveling so that way I don't have to bring the giant thing around with me. Smashbox under eye primer. I'm going to keep that. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this random little liquid eyeliner because there's no way that I should still be using that. This is really old and I really never use liquid liner. So when I decide again to try and use liquid liner, I'll buy a new one. My pencil shaver, like obviously I'm going to keep that. So let's put it all back. All right, it all fits in the drawer much more neatly now. So that's good. Wait, we're almost done. Woot. So these are all the uh, extra little things. I did also buy this e.l.f. brush the other day when I was at e.l.f. Because I don't have a spoolie. So I wanted to pick up this little double-sided. It was only $3.00. Uh, so that way I could have a brush just dedicated to doing my brows because I didn't before and I was just using a uh, One of my liner brushes. So now I have a brow brush, which is good So I can actually have my liner brushes for liner <clears throat> This is my TARDIS Pro palette um, I am going to be keeping Hello, you can see all the stickers on my phone. I am going to be keeping uh, all of my palettes because I actually like them, and I've been using the TARDIS more. Oh my god, it smells so sweet. <laughs> this is my Urban Decay Smoky. I kind of wish I hadn't gotten the Smoky and I had gotten something else, but it was a gift from my friend. Um, I do not use it all that often, but I'm going to keep it because it is, it is a nice palette, and I use... Um, I actually use a couple of the colors for my brows all the time, so, yeah. Because I have pretty full brows, so I don't really, um, like, fill them in, fill them in. I don't use a pomade or anything. I just kind of powder them a little bit, and that's fine enough for me. And this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance Palette. I absolutely love this thing. I wear it all the time. So I'm keeping it awesome sauce. You can tell I wear it all the time. It's kind of grody on the outside. And then very last thing, I have two makeup bags. This is a little clutch that my friend got me for Christmas. I have, I am starting using it as a makeup bag. It makes me smile because I love Taco Bell. So I'm keeping that, and then this one's just a little thing that I got at Target, which is good for bringing makeup away for, like, the weekend. So, that's that. That's all I'm keeping. Let's look at all I'm getting rid of, shall we? So, I am actually very happy with this. I am getting rid of 18 things. I'm getting 18 things out of my house. I feel pretty good with that. I feel very good with that. <laughs> 